today. And I was thinking about that because I have a book for you today called Who Counts? 100 Sheep, 10 Coins, and Two Sons. It's funny how in the Bible, Jesus has several stories he tells us about counting things and how that is important in his kingdom. So the first story today in here is about counting the sheep. The second one is about woman who counts her coins, and the third one is about a man who has two sons and how they count. Anyway, I hope you enjoy our book today, and think about counting and all the times we count when we hear Jesus talk in the Bible. Our book today is by Amy Jill Levine, Sandy Eisenberg Sasso, and it's illustrated by Margot Meganek. One hundred sheep. One hundred sheep! If just a single one were lost, who would notice? Who counts sheep anyway? Well, that man did. The man had a lot of sheep, one hundred of them, and he counted them every day. He kept counting. Ten, twenty, thirty, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. It took a long time to count. One day, the man counted 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Then he stopped. There were only 99 sheep. He must have made a mistake. He had 100 sheep, not 99, so he counted again. Still, there were only 99. One of his sheep was missing. He was responsible for all the sheep, all 100 of them. Immediately, the man went to look for the lost sheep. He walked and walked, but he saw nothing. He kept walking. He looked to the left, nothing. He looked to the right, nothing. He walked and he listened, still nothing. Then he heard it, a bleating sound. <laughs> he ran toward the sound and there she was, the lost sheep. He had found her. She was too tired to follow him home. So he lifted her on his shoulders and he carried her. He was so happy to have all of his sheep together that he invited everyone to celebrate. Some people said, what's so wonderful? It's only one sheep. You had 99 others. And the man smiled. One sheep makes a difference. Without her, something is missing. Now my flock is complete. 10 coins. 10 drachmas, 10 silver coins. Every day the woman would count them. Then one day she counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. She stopped. She couldn't have made a mistake, but she counted again anyway. She still counted only nine. One drachma was missing. She had lost one of her coins. The woman lit a lamp to see more clearly. She looked under the chairs and in the corners. No coins. She looked in the cabinets and in the wash baskets and the waste baskets. Still no drachma. She took a broom and swept the floor. There were crumbs and dust, but no coin. It was her fault. She had lost the coin, but she must now find it. She searched again with a light and a broom. Finally, she saw something shining and heard a ping. She looked down and there it was, the missing coin. She held the coin in her hand for a few moments 
and then she carefully placed it with the other drachmas. She was so happy to have all the coins that she invited the women in the town to celebrate. And some people said, what's so important? It was only one coin. And the woman smiled. Just one coin matters. Without it, something is missing. Now my coin collection is complete. Two sons. A father had two sons. One day, the younger son wanted half of his father's money. It would be his eventually, but he could not wait. He was restless, and he wanted to travel. So the father divided his wealth in half and gave half to the younger son and half to the older son. The younger son went to a foreign land, and there he had a great time doing whatever he wanted. But before long, he had spent all the money and had none left, not even to pay for food. There was no one to share even a crumb of bread with, and there was little food in the land. The son went to work for a farmer to try to earn enough money to buy something to eat. The farmer told him to go and feed the pigs. Even the pods that the pigs ate looked good. Finally, the son was so hungry that he decided to return to his father. But he wasn't sure what to say. How could he tell his father that he'd spent all the money? His pants were torn, his shirt was stained, his fancy shoes had holes. He thought, I will tell my father that I made a big mistake. I will say that I am sorry, and I will offer to work hard to earn money. When the son returned, his hair was uncombed, his face was dirty, and his hands were covered with blisters. His father ran to greet him. He was so happy to see him that he did not care about anything else. Instead of making his son earn money for clothing and food, he gave his son a new coat, new shoes, and even a new ring. Then he invited everyone to his home to celebrate. The older son was still working in the field when he heard the happy sounds of singing and laughter and smelled sweet spices coming from his home. He wondered what was happening. He stopped one of the neighbors who was heading to his house and asked, what is going on? The neighbor was surprised by the question. Don't you know that your father is making a big party for your brother to mark his return? No, the older brother did not know this. When the father counted everyone who had come to the party, he realized one person was missing. That person was his older son. He had forgotten to invite him. He ran out of the house to find his son. When the older son saw his father coming, he turned toward, toward him, and then he turned away. He was so sad and angry that no one had come to find him. His father spoke softly and said, your brother has come home. I invited all our friends to celebrate with us. You must come and be glad with us. He tried to hug his son, but his son folded his arms across his chest. The older son finally said to the father, I have been with you all the years that my brother has been away. I did not waste your money. I did everything you wanted me to. I never left you, but my brother did. And then you make a big party for him? You never had one for me. You didn't even invite me to his. The father thought, I have two sons, one, two. I paid attention to my younger son, but I discounted my older son. I didn't realize that he felt lost. The father took his older son's hands in his own. Please come and join the party. I love you. All I have is yours. Come and be with me and with your brother. I have two sons. He counted one, and then he pointed to the house where his younger son was celebrating, and he counted two, and he put his arms around his older son. Without you, he said, something is missing. With you, our family is complete. I hope you enjoyed the book today. 
and all the stories about counting. Maybe one day soon we can all come back in here and count the crosses together. It's always a fun thing to do. I still don't know how many are in here, and I've tried to count the crosses a lot of times in my life. Anyway, hope to see you soon. Have a wonderful day.